Well, hi there. When we came here to the Amazon, we knew for sure that there was one really weird amphibian around. That is Pipa Pipa. And Pipa Pipa is a weird, weird, weird creature. They lay their eggs on their backs and then skin grows around them and little froglets pop out. They're a weird, weird frog. What we didn't know was how many other really weird frogs and other amphibians are here in the Amazon. This is one. Let's check them out. This little frog, at first glance, isn't that weird. In fact, it's a pretty stereotypical frog. If you ask a kid to draw a frog, they probably pretty much draw this. It's a little green frog with a cute little green frog face, little yellow hands, normal frog. Top side, totally normal. Bottom side, not so normal. This is a glass frog and its underside is completely translucent, leaving nothing to the imagination. I can tell just looking at this frog that she's got some eggs going on in there. You can see her little heart beating, her little blood supply. You can see all of her organs right through her belly. These frogs are translucent, and that's pretty crazy. Definitely a weird frog, the glass frog. Next on our list of five of the most unusual amphibians we found in the Amazon is the eyelash forest frog. I love these. As you probably have guessed, they've got eyelashes. I've never seen a frog with eyelashes quite like this. Right? There are some that have little spikes over their eyes, things like that, but these are like the eyelashes of a crested gecko. They're extremely cool. They've actually kind of got fringes all over. They got those over the eyes. They've got more of them on their front legs. They've got more on the back legs. It really breaks up the outline of this frog. But those eyelashes, those are definitely make it really, really unusual. What a cute little guy. I don't know, I'm quite enamored with these frogs. I didn't know they existed. Hey, I'd like to take a moment just to say thank you to our patrons at Patreon that made this entire trip possible. This content never would have happened if it weren't for the support of you guys. And if you'd like to join our patrons in supporting us making more content like this in the future, please consider checking out our Patreon. I think if you were gonna describe a toad to somebody, a fair description would generally be that it is a warty, frog-like creature with kind of a rounded snout. This, though, is a toad. This is a sharp-nosed toad, and its nose really isn't sharp, not, not to the touch, it's soft, but it is pointy. It's got a pointy, silly nose, and it's not warty either. It's a smooth back toad, so it's smooth. It does have uh, parotid glands coming here on the side, so, you know, being a proper toad, it's it's got poison up there in those parotid glands, but this is a weird, weird toad, and that silly nose is definitely weird. While we're on the topic of pointy-nosed, funny-eared amphibians, we have this oddball, which is the crested forest toad. The crested forest toad looks a little bit like the sharp-nosed toad, except its nose isn't quite as pointy. Its crests are bigger, and I noticed them being hard. I don't remember feeling that with the sharp-nosed toad. It also has a really cool pattern. But these crests, these like big ear things, they probably make it a good leaf mimic, kind of adding to that leaf shape, breaking up any sort of toad shape. But uh, this is a really weird toad, and I love it. I love me a weird toad. On this trip, we have seen a lot of crested forest toads. And they're all really cool and really weird looking. But last night, well, this just takes a cake. Will you take a look at this crested forest toad? These guys appear to be a species complex. So there's probably a lot of different species of crested forest toads and we haven't yet teased them all out. This one is the most bad A I've ever seen and probably the coolest looking toad on the planet. If you can think of a cooler toad, I definitely want to know what it is because how do you get cooler than this guy? Look at these crests and they're hard too. They're hard and bony. You'd think a crest like that on a toad would be soft. No, that's got to be skull. 
It's Dilophosaurus in toad form, except they're like, Dilophosaurus needs more cool stuff. Let's give it spikes down its back. Oh, and spikes down the side. These spikes on the side are soft, like those of a bearded dragon, and it's actually kind of got a lot of spikes like a bearded dragon. They're all kind of soft. Not this ridge down its spine. It's got like six spikes there. Not soft. And then it's like, and it needs to have the maddest looking face of any toad. Just a furious toad. Look at this mouth. You got the mouth. And then at the end, it has these huge bony projections out to the side, like off of a warthog or something. And then the colors, the colors are awesome on their own. You know, just finding a toad with these colors would be cool. It's got this black stripe that divides out the light brown from the dark brown. It's got all this modeling on its side, even its tympanum. It's, uh, it's eardrum has that, that light modeling on it. On the bottom, it looks like a normal toad. From every other angle, it is the craziest looking toad I've ever seen in my life. I am obsessed with this toad. It's got to be the weirdest amphibian here, right? Maybe not. Let's see what comes next. I don't know if this is the weirdest of all amphibians, but it's the weirdest frog I've ever seen or ever heard of. This is the long-nosed cask-headed tree frog, and it is thoroughly bizarre. It is so weird in so many ways, I probably won't get to them all. Let's start with the way that they look. They look like Dobby the house elf. They've got this long nose, it's soft. And then they've got these ear-like projections on the back of their head. Those are hard, very firm. It's got one little eyelash coming off of the top of each eye. It's got a row of spikes down its spine. It's got soft little spiky projections coming off of its heels and all down its front and back legs. It is just wacky looking. And then on top of that, when they get startled, they open up their mouths and expose that it is bright yellow. They've got a bright yellow mouth on the inside. On the bottom, they've got a couple of more little soft spikes. So these are hard spikes. The ones on their back here in the middle, those are hard. Everything else, these are all soft little spike projections that probably help break up their pattern. Little is known about these frogs because they are so rare. We are very, very fortunate to get this opportunity to interact with this amazing little frog. They have a really weird reproductive biology in addition to being really weird looking. The females actually carry their eggs on their back. And actually, even before we get there, there's no evidence at all that they use vocalizations to attract one another. And these are so rare and so difficult to find. I don't know how they find one another. If you do, I'd love to hear it. If not, that research still might need to be done. What a cool frog to work with. Oh my goodness. But once they have those eggs, they carry the eggs on their back for up to almost like two months while the eggs develop until they develop entirely into froglets. They have what's called direct development. Most frogs don't do this. These are really weird frogs. These guys come out as tiny little casketed frogs right off of their mother's back, hatch out of the eggs, hop away into the forest. Wow. If you want a weird frog, this is the weirdest I've ever seen. The long-nosed, cask-headed tree frog. When it comes to weird amphibians, this one is actually even weirder than it looks. This is a cask-headed tree frog, and we already have a cask-headed tree frog on this list, and it is thoroughly weird. And this one is weird in a lot of the same ways. It's got a very unusual look. Uh, it does that thing where it carries its babies on its back until they emerge as fully formed little froglets instead of as tadpoles. It does all of those things. It even will open its mouth and do a big defensive display just like that frog. The funny thing about this one is this is a cask-headed tree frog, except it lives on the ground. It's a ground-dwelling cask-headed tree frog. And these are astronomically rare. You never, ever, ever find these. And yet, we found one. We've been very, very blessed to get to see this super bizarre little dude. Overall, he's very much got the shape of a leaf. And from above, you can't even see his dark markings. It isn't until you look at him from straight on or from the side that you can see he's got these little horns that come up over his eyes in this incredible striking, like, black eye shadow surrounding them. He's also got more of this black going down the side of his head leading out to his bizarre crests that he's got out back that are very bony in nature. And he's got little black spots around his ears. He's got 
black and white barring on his mouth and on the inside of his thighs and other parts of his leg. He's really beautiful. He's got these two little black spots on his back. A lot of modeling. He's a gorgeous frog from every angle. Not just unusual. This giant head though is definitely super unusual. But he's not just unusual. I would say he's also just very, very beautiful. He reminds me a lot of the leaf lizard that we saw when we were at Madre Selva, which is probably the lizard I have loved the most on this whole trip. So you take that lizard and you turn it into a giant headed, super rare, quite bizarre little frog. And this is what you get, the ground dwelling cascaded tree frog. Well, those have been some seriously weird amphibians. And I want to know which one you think is the weirdest of them all. Please comment down in the comments which one you think is the weirdest of all the amphibians. And uh, maybe we'll do another video about that one. What crazy creatures. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon.